With so many mod videos out there on the new HasLab Proton Pack, I wanted to uh, contribute to the Ghostbusters community with my own specific mod on the Proton Pack. Hello folks, Zenobi2 here and thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. The Proton Pack has a specific compartment right here on the right side. Uh, it measures about uh, 4 by 5 inches uh, from top to bottom and uh, across and then about 2.5 inches deep. This is a unique, very generous compartment that was provided uh, by, uh, by, by HasLab, by the HasLab design team. And I've already seen uh, community members already using this specific compartment. Well, I wanted to use it specifically uh, for replacing the batteries. Look, this pack weighs a little over 30 pounds, right? And this Proton Pack requires four giant size D batteries. And uh, I just assumed, well, what if I can just get rid of the size D batteries, use the compartment for an actual power pack, like an actual USB lithium power pack. There's a few benefits uh, to uh, for, 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 for taking that route. Uh, for me, it's, hey, if you see yourself cosplaying with this Proton Pack, going out in the field uh, and uh, not having to worry about uh, the, uh, the length of the batteries as far as how long they go and so forth, uh, adding an actual USB power pack could be a great alternative. Not only you'll save money, but you'll actually get a longer run out of it. And with the battery power pack, you'll have an additional USB plug that if you want to do any other modifications to the Proton Pack that, you know, if you want to add more blinking lights and so forth, you actually already have it. Now, these are the batteries uh, that I bought from Amazon. These are right there. And... Uh, you have to understand, though, another benefit is, is that these these four size D batteries, they weigh a little over a pound. And you're like, well, what's the big deal well, about a pound? Well, if you're carrying this pack all friggin' day, minimizing the amount of weight uh, goes a long way. That's what, 18 ounces on there, right? 1.16, right? Just a, It's just a little over a pound, 18.65 uh, ounces. So 18 ounces, right? Now, the battery pack that I want to use is this old one out uh, here. And uh, it has two USB plugs. It pumps out five volts. And it only weighs six and a half ounces. That's a huge weight difference. Not only that, though, but like I said, it's rechargeable. I won't have to uh, buy more batteries. It reduces the weight. And it provides an additional USB plug if I ever want to do any other modifications on, um, on there. So what's really cool about this uh, little uh, power pack here is that it's a comp it was a, a gift from, from the company I used to work for, and uh, it, it glows, right? So if you turn on the uh, button on there, the front panel of it actually emits light. And I thought this was really cool, so what I did is I scratched it off so I can try to get majority of the, of the, uh, of the glow panel. That way I can apply a sticker to it, right? Uh, the Proton Pack comes with these really cool stickers. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can use that. Plus, it looks, and I kind of, uh, I used a scratch pad just to kind of look beat up and so forth. And if you're like me, I have I have a ton of these uh, plugs, these USB plugs. That's a micro USB, regular. I have tons of these plugs. These are all the devices throughout the years. And then you end up, end up with such a surplus. Well, this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to recycle this micro USB plug here. And uh, this is the instructions and so forth. These are the stickers I was referring to just a bit earlier. And uh, you, you can do all sorts of things with these. You can you can change the proton pack. But specifically, I thought it'd be kind of cool to use the high voltage sticker on here. I thought this was well, that's pretty neat. You know, kind of give it, uh, if I'm going to add a USB power pack on here, I can give it some character with the sticker. Kind of... Kind of stick with the with the with the theme. Now, one problem I had, which I needed a day to think about, was how to get the plug. And I thought about drilling through the proton pack. I thought about cutting. I thought about uh, sawing. And uh, because this is this is like, well, how do I get it out? It I didn't want to take the Adam Savage way and unscrew the whole proton pack uh, and just deal with that nightmare of screws and just parts everywhere. 
I wanted to make this as simple, so I, I took a day to really think about this. I really did. I also already did the test that I know that this proton pack runs on, five, on a minimum of five volts. Now, this is the top lid right there, and right there, I'm just gonna drill through it. I did off-camera conduct a power test because four size D batteries uh, pumps out six volts. I had a suspicion that it uh, it's probably resisted uh, to five volts. I so mean, with the with the with the four batteries, it only requires five volts. Now I I stripped the micro USB. I got the positive and negative, the the black and the the red wires right there, so forth. But yeah, no, this proton pack works on a minimum of five volts, just fine. And uh, that's what. I, so I'm gonna thread it through the hole up here. Yeah, I I assume that they're giving that it requires a four size D batteries because it probably takes a lot of power. There's a vibrating little mo uh, motor inside this thing that probably eats up a lot of energy. Can you imagine? I I don't even want to imagine what it would, how long those size four D batteries. Let's say if you're doing like a cosplay or I don't know, you're doing like a children's hospital or you're just visiting, a, just doing something public event, and those batteries don't last. Uh, at least with this with this battery uh, with this power pack, you know you're gonna be able to at least charge it and, and and so forth. Now I drilled a hole through the battery compartment case right there, and I'm just kind of threading it. And I I thread the the cable through the top. I actually it doesn't bother me that the USB cable uh, is protruding. To me, it, it gives it character. Uh, so I I love it. I'm like cool. It's minimal damage to the proton pack, and I think it it fits with the overall theme. Uh, I did solder, so the showing you the uh, the terminals there. The red goes uh, on top, and then the, at the bottom of the battery compartment there. I just soldered it. What's also cool too that if I don't want to use the the battery pack, the the USB battery uh, power pack, I can still switch to four size C batteries. But again, there's a few benefits to this already. Like I said, I'm reducing the weight. Uh, with a, a lithium power pack, it's it's gonna go a lot longer. An additional plug on there so that if I ever wanna add more light or do any other type of mods, I have the power source to do so. And uh, this is the sticker, there you go, the sticker right there. Uh, voltage, and it, to me it looks cool. And then when it, I power it on, it glows. It just, it looks really cool. I, I, do, I do like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is, that is pretty. And uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a little bit snug. You do want to find a power pack that's a minimum of four inches tall. Uh, it's what, four inches uh, in width, about two and a half inches deep. So it, it, you, there's gonna, you're gonna have to find a specific power pack, not just your standard traditional power pack. And then this is me just doing the audio test, which works just fine. The lights power up, the, the motor is vibrating just fine. I have audio uh, control, no issues at all whatsoever. To me, this is, I, I feel like if you're gonna hack or mod the Proton Pack, at least this. Some provides a somewhat benefit uh, as far as finances go uh, when it comes to replacing the batteries. Again, I have no idea how long this size D battery would last. Also, you also minimize the battery leakage uh, with because this power pack here actually turns itself off after uh, a minute. So once power is being consumed from the power pack, it does stay on. And then once you set the power, uh, the proton pack to the side, uh, it's not going to leak. It is. It's. It's. You're, you. You won't have to worry about that in case you leave the power pack on, the proton pack on, uh, and the batteries just leak through your time. At least with this, you don't have to worry about that. And this is just me testing it out, testing all the features, making sure uh, that uh, the five volt power pack uh, is is adequate. And I didn't notice any type of, of uh, any uh, signal as far as, you know, any, any circuit misfires or anything like that. Lights, everything lights up just fine and uh, it works. So hopefully uh, my contribution to the Ghostbusters community, this mod may help some of those 
Ghostbusters who may want to use this secret compartment uh, for an alternative power source. Thanks for watching.